All right, I am going to be walking through how to go about um, creating a product package design. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your um, images that you plan to use as part of your new product. Um, and you may or may not be starting from an actual product or creating your own completely from scratch. If you are making your own completely from scratch, um, you'll have a few different steps than if you are starting from a pre-existing product. So if I'm using a pre-existing product like this uh, Milk's Favorite Cookie Oreo package, um, I want to change it instead of being a chocolate cookie, I want to change it to being a strawberry cookie um, with the white Oreo base. So my first job is going to be to um, make some new layers with some of this information. So I am going to start by selecting um, everything i'm going to select the logo for oreo here but i want to keep that and so i'm going to use kind of the lasso tool and do that then i am going to copy and paste that onto a new layer so that i get to keep that information no matter what so i might you know add another little um thing here so i'm going to do that one more time. Make sure if you have are like me and you've got like some indents that you're kind of going around it a little closer. Before you hit enter, make sure you do any edits with that lasso tool. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit, smooth this out some. There we go. Okay, so a little bit happy with how that went. Okay, so I can do that and then I'm going to hit enter. I'm gonna hit copy and paste. And remember when you paste on a floating layer, you want to also then hit this new layer button. And now what you'll see is that I can take my move tool and I can move this Oreo label anywhere that I like. But you'll notice that, because I wasn't super careful with how that I selected this, I do have a little bit of extra information at the edges. If you ever notice that, you can grab the eraser tool and just spend a minute with that eraser tool and just erase a little bit. I'm going to make my size on this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to zoom a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it might be just a hair too much. There we go. Do, do, do. So I'm just going to clean up right along those edges. Careful, you could erase too much. If that happens, use your undo history and undo. Okay, then once I've got the logo and I like the, how that looks, I'm going to start um, changing up some colors in my original packaging. So I want to preserve this one. This one I'm going to keep and save. Um, but I don't need to look at it right now. So I'm actually going to see this little eyeball on my pasted layer of my Oreo text. I'm going to put that right back where it was. Make sure it's not looking funky. There it is. And then I'm going to hit this eyeball and it disappears. And you might see it's off just a little bit because you can kind of see it shimmy a little bit. And that's A-OK. -okay. All right. But now I'm going to make sure that my background Oreo is selected and I'm going to um, change the color of this packaging. Oreo is very traditionally very much a blue package, but I want to change everything that's blue. Um, and so I'm going to select my color. So I'm going to select everything that, that, is, that is blue on this package. And then 
it's only it's selecting quite a bit but it's not selecting everything so i'm going to hold the shift button do you see how i now have a little plus sign on my cursor and now i'm going to click again and it's going to add to my selected area and i'm going to keep selecting anything that is blue until everything that's blue is selected and the only things that aren't selected is like the milk splash and the chocolate cookie but everything else on this picture should be selected i'm going to change blue to another color if however you select too much like say you accidentally selected that white i'm going to go back and undo that part okay so i'm going to just select everything here Okay, I think I've just about got everything now. So now I'm going to go to colors and then I'm going to go to colorize and then I'm going to select a new color. So notice how everything I've selected has now changed color. Oh my goodness, which is pretty cool. So now I can go into this color picker and I can pick any color that I want. And this is just within blue. I can now pick any other color that I want as well. And because I want to make like a strawberry flavored cookie, I might pick a red packaging. And like a bright red, something like that. Cool. And click OK. And if I'm happy with how that looks, I'll click OK. And then I want to hit deselect or edit uh, or select none. OK, now all of that blue has turned red. But if I turn that eyeball on my original logo, hey, it's red. It's still blue. So now it really looks like that original. I could do that same process if I wanted to turn this brown Oreo cookie into a um, red Oreo cookie, if that's how I wanted to make it look strawberry flavored. But instead, I'm going to um, do it this. I'm going to do it by copying and pasting this giant um, golden Oreo cookie. But I want to again change the flavor of just the filling to be red. So to do that, I'm going to this time use just the lasso tool to make my selection. Because it's white and I have a white background, I may not be able to Find that just how I want it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there is that selected. I'm going to hit enter and that's all then selected. And then again, go to colors, colorize, and I'm going to change my color. And I'm going to make that like a bright red or a pink or a burgundy, whatever I want. So I'm going to click this timer red again, click OK. And then I'm going to go to select none and I'm going to select the whole cookie this time. And then this cookie then is what I'm going to put on my package. Do, do, do. And again, after I'm done, if I need to, I can um, go in and do any erasing if I've got extra little bits. Um, for my demonstration right now, I'm not going to bother doing that. Okay, so I'm going to copy, control C, and then over to my package, control V. Uh-oh, my cookie is super huge. So here's what you do. You drag it over. Make sure you paste it on that new layer so you see this box. And then we want to use that scale tool to shrink 
it. Okay. And then the move tool to move it. It's still way too big. So again, the scale tool to shit and the move tool to move it. And I might even need to shrink it a little bit more. My goal is just to cover up that other one. That's probably good. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit and move it over. There. Looking good. And now I need to replace that text. You'll notice on my original package that like, hey, this milk's first cookie is still visible, that text for the flavor, or milk's favorite cookie. And I may not want that to be there. So there's a couple ways that you can get rid of it. But one way is to use the paint brush tool. And we do have some options in our tool options here, the brush size. Um, and I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to choose a color. Now I do have an option to pick a color off of my page. So if I click this little water droplet, I can pick a that is already on my package. And now my color of my paintbrush is that same color. And I can just take my paintbrush and color right on top of that text that I don't want. And now it looks like it's part of that package and it's totally disappeared, which is pretty cool. Now I am going to add that secondary text of the flavor. So I will go use my text tool and I want to choose a different color. And I'm going to type, you know, and I don't want it to be quite so big, maybe 30. Ah, something you might notice is that my text is not showing up. That's because if you look at my layer order here, my text is underneath the layers. So if I drag it and move it up, now I can see it. Grabbing my move tool. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to move. On. Grabbing my move tool, I can grab this text and move it where I want. Uh oh, look, I have a typo. If that happens, you can go back to your text and edit it. My text is still too big though, so I need to highlight it and change the number. Then I can move it where I want it to be. And if I feel like I'm done editing the text itself, which maybe I still need to do something about that font, because I don't feel like that's a great font. Let's pick something a little fancier. Okay, now I'm ready to discard the text information. Now it's just an image. Now I can use my rotate tool and then I can use those script foo pieces of information to really make it big and bold and stand out. Looks like I haven't gotten script through onto this computer yet. So you guys have that. You guys can make that work. So 
So then you'll save your work file, save as. This creates your Oreo package design, whatever your name of your product is. And then you also want to export as with that JPEG. Export, biggest file, export, and done. So that is kind of those steps to creating um, a very nice blended project um, using both the colorization tool, um, colorize, as well as um, some options for using the paintbrush. Hope this was helpful. Thanks much.